You might have gotten these flyers in your mailbox. They say yes on 792, but while a lot of people think it's time to modernize Oklahoma's liquor laws, there are always two sides to every story. 400 years have been uh, making wine, and it's, I think it's at its peak right now. Brian Kerr has owned more liquor in the metro for years. His shelves offer everything from beer and Bacardi to Bordeaux. Mm. And his opinion on state question 792 is just as strong as the drinks he sells. So if Oklahomans are to vote yes, in one word, what would be the hit to your business? It'd be devastating to the liquor business in Oklahoma. 792 would allow for the sale of refrigerated, high point beer and wine in our grocery and convenience stores, creating ease for consumers, but competition for liquor stores. This particular store that I own, we're anticipating a loss of probably two employees um, and about 20% of uh, overall revenue. But Senator Stephanie Bice, who co-sponsored the amendment, says competition has always fueled America's economy, and it's time to get rid of the prohibition style laws in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. This is really an opportunity for us to uh, come into the 21st century uh, and, and uh, sell like a lot of the other states around us do. Economically, Buy says 792 will be tremendous for Oklahoma, not only creating jobs but also keeping alcohol revenue here, since so much of it now is hemorrhaged across state lines. She says she does understand that change is difficult for liquor store owners, but that they also have the opportunity to benefit from 792. I think that we've given them a lot of opportunity to grow and expand their business by allowing them the opportunity to sell other items, to allow for refrigeration. Uh, we're also allowing them uh, 18 more hours a week to sell. And the people by says have been the most vocal about supporting this issue, mothers and families. Let's be honest, they want to buy a package of diapers and maybe some goldfish crackers and a bottle of wine to consume when the kids go to bed. Now, if Oklahomans show up to the polls and vote yes on 792, it wouldn't take effect until October of 2018. In Oklahoma City, Marky Martin, KOCO 5 News.